guys, it's Miki. Today I have a special guest, Japanese travel YouTuber, Tokyo Kenchan. Yay! <laughs> he provides very useful information on travel to Japan. It's like Tokyo area guide. Things to do, how to ride Shinkansen, and more. His channel is especially helpful for first time travelers to Japan. Okay, let's uh, ask to him about Japan. Yay! So first, let's talk about uh, Tokyo. I have uh, five questions. One, what is your favorite area in Tokyo? I like Shinjuku, mm. especially this side of Shinjuku is very nice, kind yeah. of quiet and uh, still very close to kind of busy town like Kabuki Cho or mm. Omaide Yokocho. But uh, this side is very quiet and you can see, but still very international, lots of travelers mm -hmm. and lots of business people, residents. And I think it's very kind of hard to multi cultural mm -hmm. spot, so I like Shinjuku. And also, I like Asakusa. Asakusa, yeah. Yes. It's very kind of always busy with people. Mm -hmm. and lots of Japanese style shops and uh, place to eat. So mm. I think in Tokyo I like Asakusa very mm. much. Oh, the, your favorite place is Shinjuku and Asakusa. Yes, yeah. I, I, think I like many places, but. Ah, I yeah. Also, yes. I see. Okay. The second. What are the most visit places for travelers in Tokyo? Mm -hmm. Do you know Tokyo Mizumachi? The Mizumachi? Oh, I mean, uh, in Asak near Asakusa. Yeah, I've heard, but I've never been oh, there. Okay. I like quiet place usually. So mm -hmm. I, it's a little bridge along the Tobu line from Asakusa to Tokyo Skyway. And there's a little bridge and also there's a little canal to connecting to the Tokyo Sky Train, you can walk by the canal. Really nice to walk, especially at night. Mm. You see the Tokyo Sky Train front, and I really like that area. Uh, I should go yes, there. Yes. I should go. So the third question: Do you have any restaurant recommendation in Tokyo? Uh, very difficult because <laughs> there are some restaurants, mm -hmm. but uh, it's always quality is not. I mean, not stable. Mm -hmm. So when so sometimes I go and it's good, and next time it's, it's not so good or something. Uh. So that's why I don't do much through the topic on my channel because I really haven't found very stable, great restaurant that I recommend to everybody. Yeah. You, how, I know. how is it? First question: Which area do you think is the best place to get to a hotel? Mm -hmm. In Tokyo. Here, the Nishi Shinjuku. Shinjuku. Uh, Nishi Shinjuku. Nishi Shinjuku. West side yes. Shinjuku. In Shinjuku, mm -hmm. the Kabuki Cho can be very too busy. Too busy, yeah. Family and it can be a little bit kind of not clean mm -hmm. at, in, at night. So Nishi Shinjuku is a great place because there are lots of hotels like uh, Hyatt, Hilton. Mm -hmm. And also easy to access to Shinjuku Meiji Shrine. You can actually walk to there. Mm. And uh, also, another area I recommend is between Shinbashi and uh, Ginza. Shinbashi Ginza area is, I think it's very convenient. I recommend uh, those kind of Yamanote lines, you know, Ueno to Shinbashi area. Mm -hmm. That uh, there are lots of business hotels because you can easily go to Tokyo station or different airports. That's kind of So it's so convenient, man. Yeah, that, mm. uh, the fifth question, if your friend were coming to Tokyo Hi. for a travel trip, Hi. what kind of travel plans would you make? Two days. Mm, two days. Yeah, it's just difficult. First day, I take the person to major spots like major spot. Asakusa, uh, Asakusa, Shibuya, Scramble Square, uh, Scramble Square. And, uh, Ueno Park, uh, and, Ueno Park and Akihabara. Mm -hmm. So first day, master all the major spots. Yes. And second day, Shinjuku Gyoen. Ah, yeah. more peaceful more and peaceful uh, quiet yes. place. Yes. 
with a lot of green. Right. Ah. And if you, if the person it doesn't like the maybe too busy place, yeah. maybe they go to like Odaiba, Kiyosumi Shirakawa. Ah, Kiyosumi Shirakawa. Yeah. 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 Oh, good plan! <laughs> Thank you, Ken chan. Hi. Check out uh, this video for more information about uh, Tokyo trip. Uh, he has a uh, lot of uh, good uh, videos about uh, Tokyo. Okay, next, uh, let's talk about four of Japan. So, I have uh, six questions. First question Which is your favorite uh, prefecture in Japan? Definitely, my favorite prefe prefecture is Tokyo. Oh, why you love Tokyo? Very easy going. I think, I think Tokyo is. People might think people in Tokyo is very kind of not friendly. Mm. But uh, I think once you get to know people, Tokyo people is very easy going. Yeah. They don't. I mean, in good distance between people. Oh, in Tokyo. yeah, I can. I can. So I think Tokyo is to live. Tokyo is the best place. I think. Yeah, yeah. and uh, we can go to everywhere. Right, by train. <laughs> yeah, yeah, airplane, train. That's so true. That's true. Uh, okay, thank you. The second question. Please tell us three prefectures other than Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, <laughs> Hokkaido, and Okinawa oh. that you would recommend for trip. I recommend for yeah. trip. I recommend uh, Nagano. Yes. Nagano. Nagano yeah. is a must visit. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. It's uh, one of my favorite prefectures. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, Gifu. Gifu. It's right next to Nagano, but yeah. uh, Gifu has so much potential. Like, uh, like, did you go to Gujo Hachiman? I haven't been actually. Ah, Gujo Hachiman, no, taka. Near, near there. Yes, yeah, like, like I really want to go, but uh, so much kind of nature and also tradition. Mm. Gifu prefecture, so I think it's so much potential there. I'm uh, definitely recommend it. I should go. I've been to only Shirakawa Go, Shirakawa Go and uh, Takayama. Takayama. Me too. <laughs> yeah, so we should go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, one more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Shimane. Shimane? Yeah. Shimane? Yeah. Oh, why well, Shimane? I went recently with Sunrise Izumo. Sunrise Izumo? Uh, yes. So it's, you can go directly from Tokyo too. Mm. And it's very elegant mm -hmm. countryside, I thought. Yeah. They have Izumo Shrine, Izumo Taisha, yeah. Oyashiro Shrine, and uh, Matsue Castle. Mm. And it's really not touristy. Uh, each spot has lots of tourists, but the uh, whole area is quiet and uh, kind of really quiet version of Kyoto, I mm -hmm. think. So I think. That side of Japan is so underestimated. I think I also have to explore more of that area, but uh, I think I recommend people to go those area because not many people go there, right? Shimane has uh, lots of beautiful Japanese garden, right? Uh, yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Third question. Mm -hmm. So I know you love onsen. Yes. yes. Yeah. So which is your favorite onsen resort? Onsen town, uh, onsen resort? Onsen town. Mm -hmm. resort. It's honestly being honest, I still haven't found this is the best place mm. because always pro and cons. For example, Hakone, I like white, the white water, mm. uh, white milky water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's kind of hard to find. In around Tokyo, some areas in Hakone, like near mm. Gora, has white water. Mm. And Manza, and uh, Okuniko has mm. a white kind of sulfur. Sarufa water, so it's actually really more feeding of onsen. Mm. My favorite spot is <laughs> okay, totally out of uh, what I talked about, but uh, Hakuba. <laughs> Hakuba? <laughs> so, not in Nagano? Yeah, yeah, because the water is not white; it's just clear, crystal clear water. Mm. But uh, it so feels good. Ah. Kind of al alkali hot spring water. Ah, alkali. It, it makes your skin so smooth in winter. 
インサマーメイビーのソーグルーインウィンターイツスーパービューティフああそう I want to go to Hakuba in winter yeah, yeah. So, so. the fourth question which reservation sites do you use to book hotels in Japan? Japan is a use of Ikkyu 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 is not accessible for yeah, foreign like travelers it. Foreign travelers cannot use it. Yeah, I think no English. No English. So I think I also use Lakuten. And Lakuten is there the English side. So I think. Oh, Lakuten has English side. Oh, I didn't know that. But so Ikkyu has, what do you call it? Lots of luxury hotels. So when we wanna stay good hotel, good luxury hotel, we use Ikkyu. It's easy to search and find good hotels. It's very easy to look, navigate yourself. Yeah, what can I do? What can I do? So when we wanna, we wanna find cheap hotel, I use Lakuten or Jalan. Or ma booking, ma booking or Agoda also. So 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 so. IQ, 本当にいいですよね。あの、but so we wanna recommend IQ if you wanna stay good luxury hotels in Japan. But only in Japan. Yeah, but yeah, but language is Japan only. But でも簡単。Google is kind of cool. Maybe you can do it. Okay, so the first question. I think this is so just a little bit difficult question. The JR Rail Pass will go up in price from October. So, do you think that will be worthwhile? Worthwhile. Do you think that? Will be worthwhile after the price increase. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, depends on the route. After the price hike, I think you have to do lots of travel. Mm. Uh, and in the certain period of date, or seven days, it's probably difficult to beat the price of, of the pass. Mm -hmm. So maybe get 14 days, 21 days pass and. Do really extensive travel like going to round trip to Tokyo to Hokkaido, Kagoshima, and from Hokkaido to Kyushu, if you go travel a lot and almost every day, it still makes kind of it's still really great pass. Kenchan has great information about JR rail pass, so if you are interested in about that. Please check out Ken Chan's channel. The last question: Is there anything to be careful about in Japan? First of all, Japan is very safe, and I try to look for something to be one to the travelers and looking around. But Japan is really safe country. So in that matters. You don't have to worry too much if you pay basic attention, like don't leave the important thing on the table or something. Mm. But uh, something to be careful, like a manner of etiquette. Ah, uh, right? yeah, so, I know. Uh, I uh, so it's like uh, be quiet in the train, the car. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so something to be careful in Tokyo mm -hmm. or in Shinjuku, especially, is uh, there are some people talk to you. That uh, do you want to go to a restaurant and they take you to that. So you try to go into certain chain restaurant mm. and uh, there's a someone standing right in front of the restaurant and they say, oh, it's full now. So mm. I take you to the I take you to the different branch and actually that's a completely different restaurant mm. and kind of not over sometimes very very expensive and uh, taste is just okay mm. and. They target foreign tourists because they don't know much. They target Japanese people too. Mm. So be careful not to follow anybody. I know during travel, you know, you, know, you are kind of lonely and tired, and sometimes you want to talk to with you want to talk with local people. Mm. So some travelers kind of follow someone, mm. but it can be very risky. Yeah. So as long as you don't follow anybody. 
they don't follow you, and so you are okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got it. I think so. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's all the question I have. Thank you for your very helpful answer. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. So if you haven't checked out Ken Chan's channel, don't forget to subscribe Tokyo Ken Chan channel. And she also has a great channel about all over Japan. And uh, from, even from my eyes, she's very, very taking it seriously about uh, travel and Japan. So she can provide a great time for you, for travelers. So please keep watching her. <laughs> Maybe you already know she's a great person. Oh my God. But uh, I hope if you haven't subscribed, I hope you subscribe. Oh my god, you are so kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all today's video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.